Yes, yes. Okay, seriously, Chris does. Mmm. That's all I'm gonna say about the silicone drama. I wanted to show you guys what pure dimethicone looks like. You guys, I am expecting my blow drying process to be this easy if it actually gives me good freeze control. So, oh, la gente. What is up, my badass angels? Welcome to yet another Treatment Tuesday where we test out new hair care for the very first time on camera and then we decide together what works and what doesn't. If you've had your eye on any new hair care treatments, just let me know in the comments below and I will personally test it out, sacrificing my own here and bank account so that you don't have to. Don't forget to subscribe for free and turn on all notifications so that you don't miss when your product suggestion video comes up and you will join this badass angel community. Today is the turn of drums, please. Yes, that's a nutritive oleo relax. And this is actually a very highly requested one here. And some of you guys who have already tested it out gave me very positive reviews. All right, I am absolutely loving this orange metallic box. But like we always say, what matters is what is inside and if it actually does what it promises. Especially if we consider the very high price tag associated with all Kerastas products. I am honestly hoping the Kerastas Nutritive Oil Relax does what it promises to do. I mean, listen to these claims. It promises nutrition and anti-freeze effect and you guys know how much I crave anti-freeze products targeting people with very dry, frizzy, rebellious hair such as yours truly. <laughs> now if all these claims are actually true, this may be the product of my actual dreams. <laughs> so I just can't wait. We need to jump right into the application. So as in all Kerastase hair mask, you get 200 ml or 6.8 fluid ounces of product and yes, a dazzling packaging. Feels too good to be thrown away after using the hair mask. But this little one is made in Spain and Kerastase is owned by L'Oreal. Let us open the Oleo Relax and see how this smells. Oh, this is so, so good. It actually smells like a very expensive massage in a five-star hotel. <laughs> yes, yes, I love this texture. Talk about a thick hair mask, like the ones I keep telling you guys that I love. This is a very, very buttery, amazing texture. Don't tell me this doesn't remind you of cheddar cheese. Of course, I do not want to jump into conclusions too early, but this may have a very good anti-freeze effect. It generally does when it is this rich. All right, so this hair mask is supposed to be applied from roots till ends on damp hair, so that's why I am adding a little bit more moisture in. Needless to say, I have already shampooed my hair. Oh, I am going out with my husband and some friends. We're going to go see a Shakespeare play like in the terrace of a very historic building, like outdoors. It is summer, it is humid, there's not going to be any AC up there. So I would really like to have a little bit of frizz control. You know what? It just occurred to me it would be very interesting to add a tiny checking by the end of this evening let you guys know how the frizz control is doing by then so stay tuned for that does anyone else feel completely useless with long nails i missed my long nails for the longest time they were super weak because i had been doing semi-permanent manis over and over and over again for years and finally that took a toll on my beautiful nails they were weak they just kept breaking and now that i have them naturally these long and strong i just feel like cutting them because I just feel ah, like it, 
it's I lost all my precision. Anyways, back to today's video. I'm gonna set the timer to five minutes. And now I'm actually dying to know what's in here. So even though I'm not an expert or a biochemist, I'll do my best to do a little bit of digging. Oh, but before we do that, don't forget that we are going to be having a huge Olplex giveaway as soon as we hit 50,000 subscribers. And we are slowly but surely getting there. And also, please check out my new merch. If you haven't already I have two collections one is the ciao bella which is hi beautiful in Italian and the other one is of course the badass angel collection there's t-shirts and hoodies and mugs and all that good stuff you guys thank you so much for your support it does mean the world to me and you're absolutely truly appreciated mm, all right so we have the key ingredients list and then we have the full ingredients list and as you know I try to go through both of them especially the full ingredients list just in case we have any hidden Easter eggs over there <laughs> all right so in the key ingredients we have coconut oil I think we all know the amazing benefits of coconut oil for deep conditioning our hair then there is Rosa Canina fruit oil which is a very moisturizing oil that is rich in vitamin C and has antioxidant benefits so it's a little bit anti-age which you know at least I am not getting any younger so uh, it's absolutely welcomed okay seriously Kara does is this personal because this is very hard for me to pronounce and I'm trying to do a good job here but you know you're making it very very hard for me let me try Plukenetia Plukenetia volubilis seed oil that is enriched with fatty acids such as omega-3, 6, and 9. And the seeds of the Plukenetia volubilis nourish the fiber and offer emollients. Oils and my hair, they just go together like bread and butter. So I am absolutely excited about the possible outcome. Now let's go deeper into the full ingredients list. And then I'm going to kind of mention the ones that ring a bell to me. If you are a biochemist or you know more about you know chemical ingredients inside hair care do comment what you know down below and teach us all so the first ingredient is water then we have cetyl alcohol third ingredient is <laughs> dimethicone so that tells me my friends that we have quite a bit of dimethicone. Uh, the bad news is that it is a silicone and silicones can potentially build up and make your hair a little bit more breakage prone. Now that said, dimethicone is actually one of those which is supposedly, as far as I know, a soluble silicone when you wash your hair the next time it should completely go away now we have talked over and over and over again about the responsible use of silicones in our hair water soluble and are not really a big deal in fact i have read a few articles claiming that silicones are actually recommended for very porous hair that you know has freeze issues so that would be my case i've also heard some other people saying you know as far as you use a clarifying shampoo periodically really silicones are not that hazardous to our hair as some other people make us believe so it's really a very controversial issue and if you ask me my humble opinion is that you don't use products with silicones too frequently so maybe once or twice a month when you want to really give that very buttery silky effect that most products containing silicones have given me in the past so yeah that is all I'm gonna say about the silicone drama please you do you if you feel that silicones have destroyed your hair in the past of course immediately discontinue use and avoid use of silicones but there's tons of people who really do not have issues with silicones I want as much as possible to give you kind of both sides and be fair as far as what I have personally researched and talked to experts about then we have glycerin which is supposed to be very good to hydrate the hair um, then there is amodimethicone this one if i'm not mistaken is kind of in between it's not completely soluble it is not insoluble and from what i've heard amodimethicone is um recommended for bleached hair because it really does improve the way it looks 
That doesn't mean it is good for bleached hair. You want something good for bleached hair? You have Olaplex. <laughs> I have a whole playlist of my Olaplex experience over the years. Now, these type of products generally speaking will just give you a cosmetic improvement of your hair so they either coat it in something beautiful and shiny that is going to give you a very like breathtaking result um, but they are not necessarily good for you, the hair fiber. Mm. Then there's mineral oil. I've heard some fishy things about mineral oil, but mostly in makeup. Citric acid has actually been a common denominator on a few hair masks that have worked really well for me. And then of course, at the end of the full ingredients list, AKA in smaller proportions, in smaller concentrations, we have the key ingredients, the marketing ingredients listed before. All right, time is up. Before I go and jump into the shower, I wanted to give a huge shout out to Julia Jewelry that have sent me this beautiful ring. Thank you so much, Julia, not only for the very generous gift, which I have unboxed on my Instagram. If you don't follow me there, please do, because I talk to you guys in between videos and it just gets a lot more up close and personal on my everyday life. Um, but also because they actually were so nice they did not ask for a shout out or a mention they did not ask for actually anything and that's so very rare these days so double thank you to you guys okay. so this was not hard to remove at all especially considering that there is a few different oils in there in the ingredients granted not in very high concentrations according to the full list of ingredients but yet they're in there and oils can be a little bit tricky when it comes to rinsing oh and i also want to give you a huge thumbs up when it comes to detangling Actually, I'm gonna give it two thumbs up. Now, before I move on to styling my hair, as I always do, I wanted to show you guys what pure Dimethicone looks like. Because it is the third ingredient on this hair mask, so there's quite a bit of Dimethicone in here. And Dimethicone is present on many very popular, very widely used primers in the cosmetic industry, such as this one by L'Oreal Paris. Remember L'Oreal? L'Oreal <laughs> and this is the infallible mattifying base and it is also present in the very famous Smashbox primer. So Dimethicone is a very silky to the touch. Um, it is, um, I would say, of a very interesting slippery texture and it is also translucent. I just thought you guys would find it very interesting, you know, to be able to visualize something that we keep mentioning and bringing it up over and over and over in hair care. Oh, and by the way, I wanted to address the elephant in the room. We have a very magical background now. I I hope it looks as good in camera as I think it does. And we also have a gold mirror right here that I'm gonna use to blow dry my hair. Depending on the outcome of this video and how many of you guys vote for it, I may do a follow-up video using these same exact mask but air drying my hair just because it is supposed to give you frizz control and my hair is very naturally frizzy. Oh, but that said, I am expecting my blow drying process to be this easy if it actually gives me good frizz control. And now yes, let's blow dry. Now it's your turn. Please take the poll in the eye at the corner and let me know what you think this product did to my hair. Finally, a good product on 2020. I feel this one could potentially become a new favorite. I'm not quite sure yet because I would need to test it out a couple more times behind the scenes in order to tell you guys that. But so far, I mean, it has tons of potential to become that. In spite of the humidity and given the fact that I'm going to an outdoor play in a rooftop terrace with the heat and all the sweat and all the humidity, 
if this holds on looking, you know, half decent, uh, yeah, this could be a new fave for sure. Just saw a few segments of Shakespeare Place right here that is where the stage was and look at the architecture. To confess there is some breeze going on. It's not as flawless as I was hoping, but it's still a very good solid here, Max. Would you say it's a very humid day today? Mm -hmm. And how do you see my hair? The truth. Pretty well. That is a wrap for today guys. I hope this video helped you make the right purchase decision for you or at least that it entertained you. Thank you so much for stopping by and for putting up with me. Stay brave. Living is believing and remember you are a badass with the heart of an angel. And I will catch up with you guys on Thursday. Ciao. Do you wanna follow? Click here. Do you wanna follow? Baby, can't you see?